a lot of people always request, you know, I told, I tell people that my favorite, my, my, one of my favorite, my, maybe my favorite trash bagging story is the one that involves my old coworker, Ruben. <laughs> kind of like a sandwich. No. <laughs> it so. is decidedly not like a sandwich. Uh, so, this year, for Christmas, I am going to give the gift of the Reuben trash bagging story for everybody this Christmas. <laughs> but here's the... Wait. <laughs> yes, Reuben, yes, Reuben has his own music. You've got to be kidding. Wow. Because here's the thing, this is my only this is my only Reuben story we'll ever have. Um, and you know, <laughs> we gotta go all the way with this one. And you really, the, boy, that's loud. <laughs> I think they're trying to drown this story out. <laughs> okay. In order to get to the Reuben trash bag store, we're going to talk about my old friend Reuben. Okay. I, I used to work at a hardwood flooring place. <laughs> By the way, this this may replace all traditional Christmas stories that are told throughout the holidays. Anyway, I used to work hardwood. I used to do hardwood floors uh, for another company, and it was me and my partner Steve, not sexual partner, just a flooring partner. And one day, the boss hired us some help. And it was this really short, skinny, scruffy-looking guy named Ruben. He introduced them to us. He's like, hey, what's your name? And he's like, Ruben, like a sandwich. <laughs> okay. So we work with Ruben, and oh, boy. The times I had with <laughs> Ruben, deal. No, you said you were only going to have one story. I don't want to hear no, about gotta, a bunch gotta, of times. I've got I've got I've got to tell his backstory real quick. Oh. I'll never oh, forget the time. Oh, I'll never oh, forget. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, never... whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. What? Time out. Artie Jr just came downstairs. He just put the number 24 on our advent calendar. Who knew this show was that long? I'll never forget Continue. the time. I'll never forget the time Ruben was handed the keys to the van to drive the work van for the first time, and he opened the door, and my Campbell's chicken soup fell out, and he proceeded to drive over it and smash my lunch. Maybe it's because Ruben didn't know what a lunch was, because uh, one time he told me, he's like, me and Steve just went to Taco Bell. Ruben didn't have anything to eat, and uh, Ruben <laughs> chimes up from the back of the van. You gonna eat that? I'm like, what? That hot sauce packet. My girlfriend doesn't give me money for lunch. Was that the Reuben story? Me and Steve, uh, when he mentioned his girlfriend, me and Steve were like, oh, hey. Uh, we tried to rib him. We were like, uh, Reuben. You know, we have a policy here at um, at the at the flooring place. We all show we all share each other's girlfriends. Oh, that you was know, a fantastic story. That was that was lovely. You know, like we, we all share each other's girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ruben Ruben got all nervous. He's like, eh, eh, well, isn't there maybe? Couldn't you maybe call up a, an ex girlfriend of yours and go out with her? <laughs> anyway. That's Ruben. Not the Oh, bride. okay. Well, that, I guess that wasn't too horrible. And the, no, the music the, faded out, and that was a Play the music end. again. Start the music again. We're not done. What? Start the music. Oh. Ruben, not the brightest guy in the world. Okay. This, this so story has already gone four minutes of death. <laughs> so we're at the job site. We're at the job site, and we're at this big, expensive house. And it's like a four hundred thousand dollar house, 
and Steve had already trash bagged it earlier in the day. And he had he had set the you know we used to we would have to set the trash bags inside the van until we sometimes would pitch them out the window. So Steve had already taken a shit in the trash bag earlier, and we were sanding the we were sanding the floor. Me, Steve, and Ruben. And keep in mind the contractor had showed up, the millionaire contractor, and he was showing he was showing the the homeowners the house. They wanted to see the progress on. And me and Steve, me and Steve were sanding the floor, and the the, the, the sawdust bag had gotten full on our sander. And Steve's like, Ruben, go get a trash bag so we can dump this sawdust. Ruben goes outside. Ruben goes outside and gets a trash bag. Right. Brings it in the house. Right. Starts dumping the sawdust in it. Right. But immediately upon opening the, the trash bag, the stench of shit just fills the, the room. Because Ruben grabbed the grabbed shit bag. And brought it, brought it into the house. <laughs> to dump the sawdust in. And let me tell you something, uh, Deal. If you've ever trash bagged it... I haven't. Summer, if, for the record, I have not. If you've ever trash bagged it in the summertime, it, it gets hot. And, it, it, and it's outside. like magnifies the smell. And it's being sealed up in the trash bag. And man, the homeowners are walking around, the, the millionaire home builders in there, and Ruben has the bag of shit open, dumping the sawdust in the bag of shit. And Steve, I see Steve. Steve we all could smell it. Steve looks at Ruben. Hey, Ruben! Get that fucking bag! Get that fucking bag out of here! That was about the last straw for our old buddy Ruben. Uh, a week or so later, we uh, the boss said, "Do you want to keep Ruben?" And Steve was like, "No, we need to fire him." So Steve sets Ruben down. He's like, "Ruben, it's like I'm sorry, we're, we're going to have to let you go. You're fired." And he's like, "What does that mean?" He's like, "Well, it means you can't work here anymore." <laughs> I got a kid in the car, damn it! No. <laughs> well. <laughs> Goodbye, Reuben. Well, and uh, then we sad. then we proceeded to hire Don Mason to replace him. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're talking about Don? Don Mason? Yes. I think it's ironic that Ruben's theme music is like ten times longer than Don Mason's theme music. Oh, by the way, real quick, I did I did tweet that uh, I was finally telling Ruben's story on Twitter. So yeah, so we are getting interactive. Um, uh, Travi Yak, Return of the Yak, uh, Christmas comes early! Exclamation point. Uh, Rowdy Rodimus, finally. Finally. But you need, but you need to keep the rest of them for the book. Oh, apparently he wants me to write a book about trash bags. Uh, no, go pitch that to ECW Press. Let me know how that goes. So the, there you go, kids. There is the Ruben trash bagging story and his biography. 